Top 2 Bands Patrick Carney Hated Patrick Carney is best known as co-founder and drummer for the band The Black Keys. In 2001 Carney and Auerbach, lead singer and guitarist, formed The Black Keys, releasing their debut album The Big Come Up less than a year later. Patrick's influence extends beyond The Black Keys. He's also been a sought-after producer, working with bands like Tennis and Michelle Branch. He also formed the side rock project Drummer in late 2005, and has been the founder of Audio Eagle Records. In 2015, Patrick co-founded Sad Planets, a side project blending indie and psychedelic rock. Carney's success is not only measured by sales and awards but also by his impact on the resurgence of blues and garage rock in the 2000s. The Black Keys inspired countless bands to embrace stripped-down, gritty sounds. Patrick Carney of the Black Keys has rarely been one to hold his tongue, when it comes to the music industry, rock's most outspoken critic lived up to expectations. Here are two bands he hated the most. U2. There is no doubt that it is hard for musicians in the modern day. It's difficult for people to make a name for themselves and establish themselves as musicians. The mixed message that U2 managed to send aspiring musicians by giving away music can come across as patronizing, and that was where Black Keys drummer Patrick Carney took issue with the band. Carney opined that U2 devalued their music completely by dropping it into every iTunes user's library for free. It sends a huge mixed message to bands that are just struggling to get by. I think that they were thinking it's super generous of them to do something like that. He said it devalued their music completely before continuing. It sends a huge mixed message to bands that are just struggling to get by. In a recent interview with the Seattle Times, Carney criticized U2's decision to give away its new album. He also had some harsh words for U2's Apple-sanctioned Songs of Innocence extravaganza. He criticized U2's method of giving their latest album away for free to iTunes users, saying the tactic devalued their music completely. Nickelback. For what feels like forever, the Canadian rock band Nickelback has carried the unfortunate reputation of being one of the most disliked bands in the world. The band became the undisputed punching bag of the entertainment industry. Artists like Slipknot and the Black Keys Patrick Carney took shots at them. While the Black Keys tasted their own success in the music industry and built up a name for themselves, it's nothing compared to the scale of what Nickelback has achieved. The drummer accused Nickelback of destroying rock music. Rock and roll is the music I feel the most passionately about, and I don't like to see it ruined and spoon-fed down our throats in this watered-down, post-grunge crap. In 2012, Carney spoke to Rolling Stone about the state of rock music. He didn't hold back in his assessment of what he perceived to have gone wrong in the genre, saying, Rock and roll is dying because people became okay with Nickelback being the biggest band in the world. I mean, look, I've got a lot of friends and not one of them has a Nickelback record. I'm not like a small minority. What do you think of Carney's controversial comments? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss more deep dives into the world of rock.